Hi, welcome to another video on BandLab. Um, this one I'm looking at a possible way to help fix any latency issues that you might be having. Um, there's a few reasons as to why you might end up with a latency issue, um, but this is one that might help address that. So latency is sort of an effect that happens when you get a delay um, during the process of trying to record, and it makes it a bit difficult to play along to any backing tracks or recordings that you've done. So stick around and hopefully some of these ideas will help you address any issues that you may have come across. Okay, so over here I'm in the mixer window. Um, this is the main area where you add all your different audio tracks. Um, now this feature is not necessarily applicable to all the ways that you might be creating music on your different tracks. So I'm going to address some of those things as to which types of tracks you can't and which tracks you can. So um, the main ones that you can is the voice, guitar and bass. Um, but I might show the instrument as to what it looks like where you can't um, use this particular feature for those who don't know. So let's create an instrument track. So here we've got the default piano and to find the setting you've got to come up to settings and it's down here so latency and tuner and that's grayed out when you can't use it. So um, knowing that we can't use it on this track let's delete this one and then add a voice and we might actually add a guitar track and I can just show you the settings there as well. So um, under the voice track I've got, you can see, my interface is connected up, it's coming through the channel. Um, for this, I've got monitoring off. Um, while I'm doing a video recording here, if I had that on, I'd have a few issues going on. So, But when you've got the monitoring on and you're trying to record and listen to any tracks and play along to them, this is where you may be coming across this particular latency issue. So, now that I'm here, I can go up to settings, and now the latency test and tuner is now visible. And if I go to the guitar, the latency test, as you can see, is visible, and so is the tuner. So, um, and that will be the same thing for the bass guitar input option. So, let's go back to the voice one. Click on latency. Okay, so here's where we're trying to work out the round trip of how the audio comes out of your speakers to what you can hear to when it's going to go back into the system and what they're going to be using is what you're using for your microphone so whether you're using you're a guitar user or a bass user or a vocalist um, you have to use a microphone with this particular process so with this latency as it says it feels like you're slightly behind the beat of what you're playing along to okay so this test will help to uh, correct this um, yeah um, other things that could um, contribute to this is to do with your hardware um, or other software. So while I'm doing this test, I've got quite a few other softwares. I've got recording software and things running in the background that you can't see. So um, my test that I'm going to do now might be on the high side. So let's give it a go. Now before I do, I need to turn my speaker cam on. Because during this process, I'm going to be taking this microphone I'm speaking into and doing what you're never meant to do, and that's point it directly at the speaker. Okay, and so this is going to then send a test tone out the speaker that the microphone is going to pick up, and then this um, program is going to do a bit of a calculation to work out what my latency is. So let's give this a go. I won't be able to speak while I've got my microphone uh, moving around, so I'll talk to you once I've done this. So I'm going to put, put this at the um, speaker and then I'll be clicking start test. Okay. So we can see that my latency is apparently 50 ms. So that's quite on the high side and again I was saying that I'm running quite a few bits of software at the moment uh, while doing this recording. Uh, when I'm normally using uh, BandLab through the website I'm not running all this other software to do this so my latency is generally closer to the 20 mark um, on a, a normal day for me with all the different things I'm running. Um, then you can try it again if you need to. If something went wrong sometimes you're given a message um, to redo the test. So. Next time I go to record, hopefully that's fixed up most of my issues uh, when I'm not running things. 
that pretty much concludes um, being able to use this latency feature. Hopefully you've been able to learn a few things on how to use the latency feature within BandLab here. Um, if you have any comments or if this has been successful in fixing any issues for you, please comment below. Um, let me know. I'm keen to hear how other people's experiences have gone. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, and hit the notifications if you want to hear some more videos that I'm doing if you're watching this from YouTube. So yeah, thanks again for listening.